welcome to England. How are you settling in in Essex? Good, yeah, it's been fun. Been here for a couple of weeks now, so get to play in sweet facilities with a good group of boys. So yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, really nice weather. No, not a lot of rain, which has been nice. Um, what are you looking forward to about the season? Coming, obviously, you've played in Europe, you've played in Canada. What are you looking forward to about playing in England? Yeah, I'm excited about the, like, just the experience to play in a new country. It's always super fun. Bringing my other playing experience into this team too, like to help the young guys kind of get other viewpoints and opinions on different things is is something that um, I know Porter is expecting of me to kind of help share and bring up some of the younger guys and help kind of take the program um, to next levels. So yeah. Who have you got your eyes on this year? Who do you think is going to be the big challenge and maybe a dark horse as well in the league? Uh, I think the biggest challenge is Polonia and Durham. I mean, I've lost, I haven't won a game against Durham since I've been at Essex. For like this season will be the game to, the two games that we have, or maybe three for Bucks that we know that we can beat them. With Polonia, we beat them twice in two seasons in the Cup. Uh, in the final four, it was a bit upsetting losing to them. Coming out with a bronze medal shows how high we were in, in my first season compared to last season. Yeah. Obviously last year, final fours ended up with a bronze medal. Mm -hmm. Do you think this year you can go for that gold? Yeah, I think so. I think we learned a lot from the bronze medal last year as well, and now we know what it takes to go that step further. And plus with our new players that have come in and they're quite good, so you like to yeah. think they fail fast. I think it shows more that we know we can take volleyball to a much higher level in this country. Yeah, you're also joined this year by a couple of another, couple more international players. You played with a few last year as well. Mm. What do you think they bring to the program as well? Well, obviously, two of them being brothers, they bring a bit more chemistry to the program. That set our outside chemistry will will do us a world of favour. Yeah, really good actually. They they've both come from professional teams as well, so they have got a good amount of experience, and they're like using that well, we're teaching us a lot of things already from the bat, like they're not, they're not messing around, to be fair, they're taking it very seriously, which is good for all of us trying to learn from them as well. I think we've got a good balance of people that are like good at bringing the energy up as well, but like with people that have been in that situation so many times, it definitely helps having people that can do it quite easily. You're here for two years, what are your hopes for those next couple of years, do you think? Yeah, I think, I mean, winning Three out of three medals is kind of our, our goal. It's our, and we've talked about it a little bit and I think we'll keep trying to hammer that in. But yeah, I think winning as much as we can, but also too, like for me on a personal note, if I could look back on my two years and say like I left the team in a better spot than when I got here, I think that would be a pretty great achievement. Even if we don't win as much as we hope to, I think if I can leave a mark on the team um, in a positive way, then that would be a, a win for me, so. With the new season coming ahead, uh, who do you think is going to be kind of your biggest challenge for the 24-25 season? I think Polonia have a, they always have a very strong squad and obviously last year we had a couple run-ins in the last fours and the cup. So I think Polonia will have a very interesting couple games with. Um, my first match in NBL, we lost to Polonia. So, you know, there's history there, which I'd quite like to you know, maybe get a bit of revenge or something, so. Yeah, so that maturity as well, kind of coming in, do you think you can help those kind of younger players now that are starting to join the programme in their first and second year? Do you think you can give that inspiration and encouragement too? I think so. I think obviously in the university setting, it's different for any other Super League team because we're seeing each other every day anyway, because we live on campus together uh, and because we're always training together. So it's good that you can sort of, I don't want to say father and make it sound creepy, but you know, you can sort of, be that role model for the young guys coming in both on and off the court. Again, looking ahead to the season, what do you think is going to motivate you to maybe push you that next level? I think the upset from last year, obviously we really wanted to go for gold medals in Bucks and last fours and the, win the Super League. But this year, that upset will definitely motivate me from last year, losing to Nottingham in the semi-finals. I want to go for that Bucks gold medal. Just finally, what are your plans and hopes for the rest of the season? Is it that gold medal always in sight for maybe all three competitions? Or, Well, I think, you know, being here five years now, uh, I can't even tell you how many silver medals I've had. I think it'd be nice to at least get one gold. Um, the hope is always to get three, but I think if we can get one gold, then that would be a nice, you know, ending to my time at Essex. And I'm sure for everyone else on the team to you know, look down and see gold for once rather than silver when they're putting it over our heads. So, yeah, that's the plan.